I'm out here today with my bald cypress forest, which is badly in need of attention. But that's not what I'm here to show you today. What I wanted to show you was these little balls that form on the ends of the leaves. These are midge galls, which is a little bug. Lays its sac on the branches. After they hatch, they drop into the soil. So I want to get them off. Every year you pick them off and less of them drop into the soil and they're less of a problem each year. It won't hurt the tree, it's just ugly and it'll look like a sarissa if you let, them, let too many of them grow on there. So every year I take them off and get rid of them. Now, I don't use my regular bonsai tools because I don't want to get any uh, contaminant on it. I just use old plastic bag and a pair of scissors to do this. So I'm going to take these off real quick and uh, let you watch. The common name of these is Cypress Twig Gall Midge. The midge is the, is the insect and the gall is the part on the plant. They affect cypress and many other trees. The scientific name is Taxiodimia capresiensis, more or less. Uh, they come in two basic forms. They're the small, they start out small and white, and then uh, they become dark brown. And the longer they stay on, the darker they get. So you have to search your tree pretty good. It took me about two full tries to get all of these. Now these midges cover the United States from a basically Illinois down to Florida and probably as wet as far west as Louisiana, which, which roughly corresponds to the distribution of the bald cypress and the pond cypress. The adults are tiny flies and then on the day they hatch they mate and the female lays her eggs inside these sacs on the junctions of the leaves. This is what they look like if you don't get them in time. You see them? Come in here. Mm -hmm. Come uh, they start out pretty white and then go to a darker color and then there's some damage around, some dying off of the, the branches. Uh, like I said, collect and destroy all the fallen galls in the autumn or early spring before they become ha uh, active and rehatch. That's a late bloomer right there. Well, it's more mature. Uh, insecticide doesn't work too good against these things, so uh, the cutting and removal is the best process. Since they, since they winter over in the galls that fall to the ground, you'll be a lot better off by just letting, by picking them up or cutting them off the tree, and then that way they won't be there next year, and you'll have less each each year. I hope this uh, helped you a little bit, and if you like it, you know, hit the like button and uh, hit subscribe. I appreciate it.